Hola, brola. It's me again. I got some emails about getting some more help on single step equations, so I thought I'd help my bros out. I've got four different problems. I've got a subtraction problem, an addition problem, a multiplication problem, and this is the one a lot of you emailed me about and said, I don't do fractions, bro, but you're wrong. It's not a fraction. It's just a division problem. Let me show you, bros. So first of all, on this first problem, like I've been telling you, bros, make a line and make another line. It's an equation, so we have a left side and a right side. Now, whatever it says to do, tie that really sweet word, inverse, it means do the opposite. It says something, in this case D, minus six is gonna give me negative three. So it says minus, but I don't want a minus. I want to add. Whatever I do to the left, I do to the right. And negative 6 plus 6, 0. If I look up here on my number line, negative 6 plus 6 just means I go back to there. Negative 3, go up to my number line, start right here. Plus 6 means I'm going to go 6 this way. So 1, 2, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, my answer is gonna be D equals positive three. That's it. Now, let's look at the other one. Let me zoom out a little bit here for you so we can keep that number line. Nine plus R equals negative three. So what we're gonna do is, says nine. Some of you might not realize it, my bad, but that's a something nine. It's a positive nine. We just don't write positives if we don't have to. So instead of plusing nine, we're going to minus nine. Do the left, do the right. Nine minus nine, zero, bro. Negative three, right here, minus nine. We're gonna go the other direction because we're subtracting. Nine and three make negative, because I'm farther from zero, 12. R, speaking of R, do you know what a pirate's favorite letter is? Ha, <laughs> it'd be the C. You thought it was R, bro. Now let me slide over here. Four times something equals 48. All my smart bros out there already know the answer. But if you don't know, it says times, so you don't want to times. You want to divide. 48 divided by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Times that by V. All that's left is V. And 48 divided by 4 is 12. Some of my bros out there might have noticed that I've got the variable on the right instead of the left. An equation, it doesn't matter, right? It could be on the left. It could be on the right. I could have stuck five pounds of rocks on the left and five pounds of feathers on the right. If I switched them around, it's still going to be the same amount of five pounds on each side. On this last one over here that most of you were asking me about, bros, it's not as hard as you think. It says something divided by six is 78, not X sixths. It's actually going to be a times six. Divide by six times by six, it just equals what I started with. And 78 times six is gonna be one monster number, bro. Eight times six is 48. Carry the four. Seven times six is 42, plus four is 46. 468, bro, that's a six. My handwriting, not the greatest today, bro. I hope that helps on your single step equations. Check you laters.